Hello, welcome back. This is uh, video two of our Track It series. Um, if you've seen the previous video, you'll have seen me showing you how to use it with one switch and automatically scanning around the different directions. Hopefully, if you've seen that video, you understand what Track It is. If not, I implore you to go back and have a quick, quick look at that. Um, on this video, I'm going to show you really, really quickly how to use two switches and how simple it is to get cracking with two switches. Um, but just a quick reminder, as you can see straight away, I'm set up with one switch and it's already scanning around the um, the dial, the clock face, so to speak, to, to offer you all the different options of directions and functions. So um, just to sort of remind you how that works, you press the button and it moves. And obviously the patience comes in where you have to uh, wait for the different sort of movement around the different functions. And that time of, of, of waiting and dwelling can be changed, which I'll show you in future videos. But to make that a bit simpler, if you are able to use two switches, you can just plug one straight in. Uh, it is a bit more than just plug and play though in this instance because you are still in one switch mode so it will continue to cycle around automatically. So what you need to do is you need to move modes and I'll show you that now by flicking through the different modes we have. So in the mode, op mode selection options you've got four different uh, options and you'll see the lights lighting up as we go. The red lights show the amount of directions that you have available so you have four or eight and the green lights show you the left and right uh, clicker indicating whether it's one switch or two switches so one light for one switch two switches uh, for two two lights for two switches so we'll put it onto eight directions and two switches like that when the lights disappear it drops you out of uh, the uh, mode selection screen and your right hand switch your switch number two the red one in this instance becomes your scanner all the way through all the options and your yellow switch immediately becomes your switch in switch one immediately becomes your operational switch now I may as well show you while we're in this mode um, a couple of different options I didn't show you before so drag lock is that one there it puts you straight into drag lock and when you're in drag lock it'll stay in until you take it out but I'll show you now how simple it is to drag over a bit of text simple as that and then to come out of drag lock cycle all the way around and turn it off and of course if you want to come out of drag lock uh, come out of the drag text you just simply press the left left click there we also have double click a little bit hard to show you on a web page like this but I'll show you anyway and you'll see that the click the the mouse button will click twice and you'll get an audible audible click twice as well and there we are so that's drag lock and double click. Both are operational in one switch mode. Um, and how you do that, especially with drag lock, it's worth noting that when you put it into drag lock, it'll still automatically scan around the direction so that you can then choose the direction you want to drag in and then wait for it to come back to turn it out of drag lock. So it is quite simple to use still, just a little bit more patience as I showed you in the previous video. So that's it, that's two switch scanning. In future videos, we'll show you all the rest of the features. Uh, and we'll show you what the third and fourth ports are available to be used for as well. Um, but hopefully that shows you a really good insight and a really quick uh, insight into how you can really get sort of speedy use out of the track it with two switches and it becomes a very simple to use mouse. Thanks for watching.